Hey guys, Deep Bay here. Welcome back to the channel. I hope everyone is doing well. And today I have a special video for you. So when I showcased my uh, perfect corner build, I show I told you guys we'll be doing a Berserker build in collaboration with Benjamin, also known as Flowerbender. And he sent me his absolute gem of a character, right? So let's quickly go to the character and then I'll show you his hideout, which is mind-blowing. And then from there on. So direct comparison will not be possible here. One, because he's higher level than me. And two, because he has no combat skills, right? He's just invested it in a world building skills. He's got stealth there, but aside from that, not much really, right? So that's the way he prefers playing. Nothing wrong with that. Okay. Now we'll showcase his ship, but first I want to show you his hideout here. Freaking amazing, amazing, amazing hideout. So the way he set this up, this is a little like living quarters here. He's got like little um botanic gardens whatever you want to call that there it's just amazing the attention to detail and the work that's gone into this freaking mind-blowing stuff right so if you see here he's got a lot of stuff in his um sorted um he's got some suits here and this is this is like not much of it really so he's got a lot of blue weapons there He's got like Maxis, Star Shards, Rune Inflictors, more Star Shards, more weapons here. The man has really put some serious thought into this. And this here is probably his, his, his bachelor pad, pad <laughs> right here. So he's got some pretty, pretty cool stuff here. So he's got his hard targets, Incarcive Berserker. He's got another hard target there. He's got, what's that one? Berserker, a Lawgiver, he's got some Orions there, his mission boards, navigation console, so cool, all this stuff is freaking awesome, so he's got some um, outfits here, his packs, helmets, mannequins, this is all legendary, yeah, yes, yeah, so he's got all these different mannequins, this is like a perfect, perfect 10 out of 10 outpost. I've never seen anything like this. He's got some more stuff there. He's a collector, right? I think he just likes to get out there and collect stuff. And his um, this is in Serpentis 4. He's also got a pretty cool ship as well. Um, so he's left a wak Wakizashi here, which I, I'm, I'm dying to try out. I want to see how this works. And he's also given us... He said, don't do Frost Wolf, do this one. So 50 movement, 40 range damage, 35% weapon accuracy. What does Frost Wolf give you? Just flat damage, flat movement speed, and no noise. Okay, that's fine. Um, if that's how you want us to do this, that's how we're going to do it. Now, let's head out in space, check out his spaceship, and then we'll go from there. Okay. So he's running ballistics. Where's his turrets? His turrets in front of the ship? I, I, I can't tell where the turrets are. Yeah, he's... Oh, turrets are the side of the ship. Interesting. Okay. Oh, man, I'm, like, butchering the crap out of his ship right now. Sorry, dude, I'm just not, not, not familiar with your setup. We shall prevail, though. We shall prevail. Fear not. Ah, oh, we got this. Solid ship. This is... A very hard difficulty, of course. Okay, now let's let's take a stroll to his ship, and then we'll go um, we'll go and check out some planets. Uh, I would assume this ship will be just as impressive as anything else we've seen on this account. There you go. <laughs> what 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 does he have here? How can I?
Yeah, he's got a fair bit of stuff there. So these are quarters, weapons here. It's a bit dark in here though. He's got some weapons. Nice little command room there. Hey Benjamin, let me know why you're not using the Vanguard weapons, I'm just curious. Is it preference or... Surely you've done the quest, I mean, you have like 22 days in this character. Let me just see. 22, yeah, 22, 9. So he's got some rooms here with some weapons. More weapon racks. Very organized. Everything here is so bloody organized. Yep, so he's got everything. Anyways. Um, pretty sure I was supposed to take some of the weapons from that, um, what's it called? <laughs> from that household. Let me just go back there quickly, pick up some weapons, and we go from there. So, reading his email here, he says, Greetings, Dean Power. I've saved this on Serpentis in my Berserker construct. <laughs> uh, if you will. He said he loves that scene from Matrix. Every weapon display case in this room has a premier berserker weapon modded to my taste. This outpost is fully stocked with resources. You can tweak to your preference at will. Thank you. That's very kind. Except for a box with non-legendaries. Blah, 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 blah. That's fine. The top cockpit level of my ship. Santa Slain. I'm already full of my best finds. Cargo has six suits. Seven helmets. Yep, 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 yep. Pick your loadout and change gear if you desire, then go to Hudgen 70 sure so we can do it against Sun Varun. Yep, yep, yep. Don't take any buffs that increase damage resistance. Frostwolf, if you do a ranged weapon loadout, go with Panopticon, much better. Med pack and trauma packs are hotkeyed along. Yep, cool. Rich gem is a good buff for energy resistance. The one heard Berserker. I always bring Andrea Shepard. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Alright. So he's giving me some instructions there. Uh, let's see what weapons we want to take here, guys. Berserker, Lacerate, Concussive. Yoink. Uh, Berserker, Incent. Yoink. Those two are more than enough. I mean, he's got, he's got some, uh, some crazy stuff that I probably won't be able to do justice, but he... Fairly certain, somewhere here. There's like a rapid concussive. All right, we'll take that as well, just to showcase. He's probably got an inflictor somewhere too. Uh, what armor is he running? Inventory. So he's got combat veteran, sentinel. Armor's fine. I'm not. I'm not gonna touch his armor. So. B one, B two. B3, that's, that's a good mix. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, there's two ways we can do this. So first one is going to be um, range weapons, and then it's going to be melee weapons. So he advised me for the range weapons to run with the uh, Panopticon here. So that's exactly what we're going to do. And then we'll try it my way with the um, Frostwolf. So Frostwolf gives you more movement speed. This is more... For the sneaky sneakies. Now damage here is not going to be comparable because I already tried it. Hornet on my character was hitting harder even though I'm like 40 levels lower. But that's because I've had more um, perks in uh, what's it called in combat. So it, we cannot compare them toe to toe. It just won't work. I've asked him if he wants my character to build a berserker build because I have all the weapons just use the armor. That would be more comparable. So this here is the Beowulf. And this is the gameplay I would assume you would run with it. If you're feeling extra adventurous though, you can always jump and trigger his backpack skill. So what his backpack, sorry, jetpack skill allows him to do is essentially slow down time and go and crap on everyone else. But they see the issue with this one is, it's a very light build, this Berserker. Decent damage. You can you can buff it up as much as cornered. So I think they both cap out at the same damage. I think he said 40% um, buff. Now let me reload that again. And I'll show you how I do it my way with Frostwolf.
I would play the Berserker the same way I would play the Cornered. High mobility, just hit and run tactics. Okay. So, Frostwolf, grab this bad boy. Holy moly, look at the speed we have now, guys. That is fast. That is super fast. Yeah, that is very bloody fast. Yes, it doesn't do as much damage as my one, obviously, because of the combat perks. How fast is this bloody build? Holy crap. There could be a couple of them upstairs. Okay, up here. It's it's a beautiful build, guys. It's it Berserker is not my uh, cup of tea, but I, I can I can see why people would run it. Now let me show you something crazy. Let me show you crazy something crazy. I think this is the way he wanted to build this character. Can you guys let me know if weight impacts how fast you move? I'm very curious, very, very, very curious whether or not weight impacts how fast you move. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna drop all the weapons. He doesn't need the he doesn't need the save file back. And I'm gonna equip that and I'll pop a frost wolf. Nah, there's there's, there's not much difference in, in terms of speed. No, you, you can't trigger the uh nah, it's just melee builds are not viable unfortunately. Is there any special attacks I can? Sorry, um, if I'm butchering your melee build, I do apologize. I'm just not used to melee builds. Uh, combat. Oh, he hasn't even maxed it out. In okay, case so he hasn't maxed it out, this definitely has the potential to be like cyberpunk, but it staggers a lot. It seems. Yeah, you stagger him. But definitely, <laughs> melee is not my cup of tea. Now, last test, we'll try the hard target with the uh, Panopticon, which is the um, accuracy buff. And just see how the hard target runs. I'm very curious to see that. But, anyways, dude, awesome ship, awesome hideout. So, hard target's there, and he wants us to run. That one there for the accuracy. Wink. Okay. Now let's head on inside and show these guys how it's done. When I move fast, I hate the low gravity because it just keeps you airborne for too long. Boink. Boink. I don't think I have any panoptic. It must be like a crafted one. Boink. So good damage. Where are these guys? Come on, peek. Peak young man. I'm just gonna hide here a little bit. Peak. Boink. Peak. Boink. 
Let's try this way. Doink, 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 doink. Yes, this is the difference. I don't, we've cornered. I think that guy would have clapped me because I have like. Well, but then again, he does have like 40 something levels on my character, so. That does impact resistances big time. You don't get hit, hit nowhere near as hard by lower levels. Poor the accuracy. Hip firing with that medicine is insane. Holy crap. You know what? I don't I don't even have to I don't even have to aim. I can just hip fire it. What the heck was that? Holy crap, you don't have to like This is this is why I love the community guys. You, you, you just come up with some crazy ass builds. Uh well, let me let me try that again. So eight P P P P P Yeah, I just, I just hip fire, hip, hip fire this guy. Look at that. Reliably too. Doink. That's crazy accuracy. Crazy accuracy. Doink. Hang on, I just want, I just want hip fire from here. Yeah, this is, this is cool distance. Get the laser out happening. Come on. Whew. Yeah, this baby was meant, meant to be hip fired. <laughs> this baby was meant to be hip fired. But let's head on this side. Alright, let's try it this way. Doink doink. Yeah, the, the weapon accuracy is crazy. That 35% makes a big difference. Okay. So they're all hiding in there. Good to know. I think I just popped Frostwolf by accident. Yeah, my accuracy is definitely not as good now with the Frost Wolf. But yeah. Anyways, guys. That's the end for this one. I uh, hope you enjoyed the showcase. Berserker is definitely a fun build. I mean, Benjamin loves it. Not my cup of tea, but I'm not going to dump on it and say it's bad because it's not. It's just different playstyle. Right? We all play the way we see fit. Cornered is my thing. Berserker is his thing, and that's fine. I, I can respect that, and... Uh, you know, I, I can appreciate the diversity of builds. Uh, don't be shy, send me yours if you want me to go through it. Now, before we end this video, I, want, I just want to give a shout out to another one of our community members. So he's also got our YouTube channel. Please go and show him some love. Uh, you can see the channel right here on the screen. So I can appreciate anyone that would, you know, put the name out there and make some content. And he seems like he has fun doing it. So, hey, I wish someone did this for me. So guys, if you can, check out his channel maybe something you're interested in if you are don't forget to give, give him a sub or a like it does really help out you know starting channel from scratch myself i know things how much things like this can mean anyways uh that's it for today's video as always i do appreciate your time and i uh, hope to catch you in the next one peace